Now example 11.31. Crystal diffraction experiments can be performed using X-rays or electrons accelerated through appropriate voltage. Which probe has greater energy? For quantitative comparison, take the wavelength of the probe equal to one angstrom, which is of the order of interatomic spacing in the letter is mass of electron that is given to you. Now, lambda that is one angstrom means 10 raised to minus 10 meter. So energy of X-ray is photons. That is E equal to HC upon lambda. Substitute the value of H, C and lambda, then solve it. You will get energy in terms of joule. Then divide it by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19. Here 10 is 19 karina So you will get energy in terms of electron volt. Then if for electron we take the lambda that is 10 raised to minus 10 meter, then lambda that is h upon mv. So we can write mv that is h upon lambda or simply we can write p that is h upon lambda. Okay. Now energy of electron that is p square by 2m. So here from this particular equation mv that is h upon lambda means p that is h upon lambda substitute the value of h and lambda you will get momentum then substitute the value of momentum here take square of it 2 into mass of electron and you will get energy in terms of joule then divide it by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 you will get energy in terms of electron volt so here energy of x-ray photons that is large compared to energy of electron. Clear to all of you?